what y'all got to realize is that haters, like I said, we get a lot of haters around when you start succeeding. And what a hater's job is to do is to pull you away from working with the people who you making progress with. Their job is to make sure the, the 15 minutes you could have been spending kicking it with Jamil, going ahead with Kev and getting things done with Severa. A hater's job is to make sure you don't spend time with those people, but to spend time arguing with them about something they don't care about. They don't care to fix whatever they arguing about. It's, that's not what hating is about. Hating is about pulling you away from what's making you progressive. Hating is about pulling you into the hole that they in because they ain't got nowhere else to be. They in a hole lashing out at anybody they see that's climbing out of the hole. They in a hole lash. Oh, well, you don't drive enough. You ain't really nothing like us. You you this and that and, and you doing other things to make money too. You you ain't just making money on just drive. There's no rule book on how to survive in this world around us. The only rule is to survive. That's it. If you go get a W-2 because driving ain't ain't working out for you, more power to you. That means you're smart enough to realize driving's not working out for me, man. I got to go get, I got rent to pay, man. They going to come repo my car. I can't knock you for that. Oh, you shouldn't go get a W-2. Just, just drive harder. I don't know your market. I don't know the people around you. I don't know how the apps are relating to you if they stealing from you more than they stealing from me. I don't know that. So I can't hate on you for doing something different. If this helping you succeed at whatever plan you got set up for yourself. But you see haters jumping in all these comments mad because you ain't failing. Mad because you ain't in the ground like they thought because they done already said they had you predetermined. They already said you was going to fail. Oh, it ain't going to work. Your channel going to be garbage. You're going to bust your BMW. It's going to end up needing a new engine. Haters done already said everything they going to say. And the fact that you keep getting past that. You keep going to a new level, getting to new levels. What do these haters do? They hate even more. Because they like, well, well, my plan on hating them ain't working out. It ain't, it ain't killing his soul. It's not killing his energy. It's not killing his passion for doing what he's doing. It's not killing the, the group around him is growing up. Everybody's getting a little money here and there. Everybody's doing what they're supposed to be doing, keeping bills paid, staying focused, staying on track. I'm not hating hard enough. Apparently, I got to update the hate. I need to go to hate 2.0. These motherfuckers got to update the hate. And all we keep doing is rising up. After the protest, we saw a lot of people hating on us during the protest, before the protest, after the protest, still hating on us. And we just keep elevating more and more. Oh, it, it don't matter what Dara says. Nobody said it matter what Dara says. I just said they notice. They see us coming. Have you not heard me say that many times? They see us coming. Have you ever heard me say, oh, they fixing the problem? I ain't never said no shit like that. I said they see us coming. And they do. We the 300. And we've been saying this shit for a couple of years now. We're going to dig into their ass. We're going to get these profits. We're going to pay these bills like the contractors we are. That's our job. Is to go out, get money, get profits, take care of our bills. We ain't trying to, oh, I want to be the best driver and get more diamond, platinum rides and statuses and priority excels and fuck all that. How's your bank account looking? That's what this shit boils down to. How's your bank account looking? Because if your bank account ain't about shit, whoever is the lien holder on your car don't care about the stars on your app. The person, your landlord and corporation, they don't care how many stars you got on your app. They don't care about none of that. We trying to create success over here. And because of that, we get all the hate. But we bring all the smoke. We don't give a shit. The most smoke we bring, bank accounts going up. Cars getting repaired, bills getting paid, and these motherfuckers hating even more every time. They see us every month elevating. We another level up next month. It ain't got to be a, this is a marathon. It ain't got to be a sprint. It ain't got to be fast. We can slowly get there as long as we ain't going down and we slowly elevating and getting up to the goals that we've been setting for ourselves, then we achieving something. And a hater don't want you achieving shit. They want you to spend 30 minutes arguing back and forth with you because that takes you off your shit. They want to spend six minutes trying to throw little piddly ass statements on your comment. Oh, well, this and this and this. Remove. Block ban. Fuck them. Because all they're here for is to get in our way. We got shit to do. They're here to get in our way. And I don't play that. I'm not that type of guy. If I set a plan in motion and saying this is our mission statement, this is our strategy. These are the tactics we're going to do to attack that. I don't need no fucking hater energy around me. 
Because I know what they're here for. They're not here for anything that we set up. They're not here to do anything that we just said we're trying to accomplish. They're here to make sure we don't accomplish it so they feel better about themselves. I told you y'all wasn't going to do it. <laughs> told y'all it wasn't going to work. <laughs> the fuck you around for? Haters. I'm telling you, you'll find them in every little pit of, of this earth that you can find. Any little hole of earth that you're trying to climb out of, it's a hater at the bottom of that motherfucker trying to pull you back down. That's why I love this channel. Real shit, I love this channel. It's got a lot of energy on here. I love the comments that jump in, and I'll go, oh shit, I'll comment back. And I'm learning. At 50 years old, I'm learning to not even pay attention to these fucking haters. Because I'm defensive about my peace. I'm passionate about my people. I love the fact that we can make progress. I love the statements. I love the, the strategies and the tactics. I love that. And I'm learning to say fuck the haters. I'm still learning that because I know what their job is. It's to come on this channel and to, oh, we got a freedom of speech. It's not about freedom of speech. You need to go find a home. This ain't your home over here. The 300 barbecue is not your home. The mic drop barbecue is not your home. You need to go find a home. Most haters don't got a home because a hater just jumps around to different hate groups trying to get other haters to hate on the same shit they hating on. They can't find a home. It's too much shit to hate on. There's too much progress in this world. So what do they do? Well, I was hating on this and it didn't work out. So I'm gonna go hate on this person. Oh, it's not working out. I'm gonna go hate over here on this situation. Oh, it's not working out. I'm gonna go hate on, cause that's all they wake up to hate. They wake to hate. They get up in the morning. Who's making progress around here I can fuck up? Not over here, cause we gonna keep elevating. Well, you're not counting how many miles it take you to go take a piss behind that dumpster over there. You didn't log those miles. That's like three miles to go take a piss. You need to log your piss miles. No, I don't. You ain't my fucking boss. I look at my bank account. That's my boss. My bank account tells me, Jeff, you need to work harder. Jeff, you can relax a little bit. You kind of coming up some. You can take a couple of days off, Jeff. My bank account's my boss. I don't know who the fuck you are. Haters gonna come around all the time acting like they really saying some important shit. Oh, well, you know, I'm I'm the one who, who made you. You ain't make me do shit. My bank account makes me do things. When it's low, I grind it out. If it's getting to a cool area, you know what? Let me pace myself for a minute. I think I can clear a couple of days, you know, doing a, a few rides here and there just to maintain. Make sure I make a little money today. I ain't got to work 12 hours a day. I can go out work four. I'm cool. I can work four. But most of these people out here, they don't get that. All they get is the success you're sitting on. And they say, he's being too successful at this. She's being too successful at this. They're not doing it like I'm doing it. And they're doing better than me. How is that? They must be doing something different. Oh, because the way I'm doing it has to be the right way to do it. Why ain't I successful? Let me go hate on the shit they doing. You ain't never seen me hate on nobody's success. I see people come up, Jeff. I hit 480 today, man, in four hours. I'm like, damn, good shit. Whoa, you out there cooking. You cooking this shit. Hey, I'm trying to get like that. That's how I handle that. What a hater do. They see you do four. Well, really, you, you didn't really do it in four hours because you, 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 can't, can't, you can't count cash because, you know, cash is not on the app. Cash is something on the side. You, you can't do that. You got to count that as something else. That's not, you know, that's, that's illegal anyway. It's against the terms of service. Haters going to always find a reason to pull you back down in a hole somehow. Like I said, even at this age, I'm learning. Y'all don't see me go back and forth with a lot of haters in comments no more because I know these motherfuckers coming around. I used to have 1,000 subs. Used to have 2,000. Haters hating on me. 3,000. Oh, you cuss too much. You ain't going to make it nowhere. Your channel. You then go up to 4,000. I can't listen to you. You you said, y'all just, you too hard to listen to. You be cut, motherfucker. I don't give a fuck what you say. Now I'm damn near encroaching on 8,500. About to hit 9,000, 10,000, 11,000. We keep growing, keep sharing, sharing how to make profits. Keep telling people, keep your mind in the game of profits. Fuck these apps. If they plan you, open your mouth. Closed mouth don't get fed. Desperate drivers don't get bread. You got to do shit different. These apps see us coming. They know what the fuck we doing out here. They not stupid. You think they worried about these weak ass people? People on the plantation who's comfortably picking cotton ain't raising no stink about nothing. Plantation owner not worried about them. The plantation owner's worried about the strong ones. The ones who saying, hey man, this shit ain't for us. That's who he's worried about. The weak ones, he ain't worried. The strong ones always change the status quo. The weak ones keep that shit rolling. They know it. 
And they hate the fact that they can't be as strong as us, stand up like us. Oh, I don't want to stand up like y'all. Then why the fuck you over here? This is standing room only over here. Motherfucker, you need to go sit down somewhere. This is standing room only over here. We stand up over here. This ain't that type of party. So if you ain't a stander, go sit your ass down somewhere. But yet you always find them in a standing room only crowd. Oh, you know, y'all just, you know, y'all. Motherfucker, ain't nobody call you over here. Standing room only. We the ones who make changes. People who stand up make changes. Haters gonna see that shit. They gonna come around and try to take six minutes out of our day, 10 minutes out of our day, 30 minutes out of our day. Remove them fucking comments. Send their ass on about their way. Because they need to go find a home for that hate. There's somewhere they could be with that. This ain't the place to be with that. Because ain't none of us over here having that shit for real. And I love to keep my channel streamlined. You ain't never gonna make it to 50,000. You keep deleting people. Does it look like I give a shit? If I have 6,000 people with all amazing, great energy and we fucking out here making money and paying our bills, that's more important to me than having 50,000 hating motherfuckers hating on everything I put on this channel. I don't care about them other 44,000. Fuck them. Give me the 6,000. Let's make money. Let's make profits. Let's make moves. Let's do shit. I ain't trying to stack my channel full of haters. I ain't never been like that. You can ask anybody out there. I roll by myself. How many people y'all see me fuck with? Real shit. Because I don't deal with other people that much. I need to know who you are, who the people you fuck with are, who the people they fuck with are. Then I pull you in. I don't meet a motherfucker today and be like, yeah, we best friends. Motherfucker, I don't know you like that. Shit, you don't even know me like that. I could bring some fucked up people to your circle. You don't know us like that. So I've always been very cautious on who I pulled in deeper. Always cautious. I've been divorced a couple of times. You think those motherfuckers was like that when I met them? No, people fake it till they make it. Once they make it deep into your fucking circle, they're going to try to fuck your circle up. Contact the people behind your back. Fucking with you. They haters. Haters that work their way into your circle. Now they hating on you now. They never gave a fuck about you. They wanted to see what you was up to. They saw you making progress. They wanted to come in, get a piece of that progress. Blame themselves for your progress. Then start taking away your progress when you don't fuck with them like that. That's what haters do. They embed themselves in your circle. There's a lot of people that used to be on my channel. I used to fuck with real shit. I used to mess with them. I used to chat with them, comments, this and that. I used to. I don't know more. Because you, you start learning people. You start peeping people out, seeing who they really are. They're not happy for your success. They're not happy to see you come up. They hating on your come up. They hating on your success. They don't like to see you move because you don't move just like them. You're moving like you, and it upsets them that you're moving like you, and you're advancing. They don't like that. They want you to follow in their footsteps. And when you don't follow in their footsteps, but you kind of supersede them and you're doing your own thing and you're paying your bills and you're making good friends and you got good people and good energy around you, they don't like that shit. Because they don't got that. They doing it a certain way and they don't got that. How the hell you got that? You don't deserve that. You ain't better than them. You ain't no expert. You're not above them. You don't even do it how they do it. How are you doing well? That's what haters think. That's how those motherfuckers think. So always keep good people around you. He says, I don't care how you do it. As long as you're getting it done. As long as you ain't homeless, get it done. As long as you got your car note paid, your insurance paid, get it done. You're happy today that you wake up, you got breakfast, you got food in the fridge, get it done. But what do haters come? Well, the way you doing it is not how you should be doing Motherfucker, how you doing it? How come you not doing it? And they're upset at that shit. And you start peeping that out. Like I said, keep, keep watching the comments and watching the people around. You start seeing hater energy. A whole bunch of passive aggressive shit going on in the comments. Oh, well, you know, you know, uh, uh, this and that, but as soon as you hear but, you know some hater shit coming. And it ain't got nothing to do with constructive criticism. It's always something to try to destroy the success you've accomplished. To destroy what you've already built. To kind of make it seem like what you've built. It's not really nothing. That ain't nothing because you're not doing it like me. If you was doing it like me, then I'd say, what's up? Motherfucker, but you ain't doing shit. That's what it boils down to. Why you over here? If you building something, go build it. Get it done. You don't work on your house. Don't even got your framing and shit up. But you over here talking about my framing. You ain't got your trusses on your house yet. But you talking about my trusses. You still working on getting the fucking foundation laid on your shit. But you talking about how I'm building mine. Mine is being built right. I'm doing it the right way, according to how I see it. 
And the way I walk and the path I walk may not be the same path you walk. A lot of people don't understand life. They think life is through the, the lens they view. I don't think life is through the lens that I even view it. Life is through the lens of how you view your life. My life and your life will be totally different. A lot of people wouldn't have walked away from corporate America because through their lens, getting a title, getting a promotion, merging with other companies over and over and over the cycle of that shit, relearning jobs and systems and people's names and locations and changing your parking spots and moving shit across town. All That's their life. Me, I'm a little more stable than that. I'm cool as a motherfucker. Everybody know me. My garage is like the, the best place you, I can be. Cause I can create in there. I can build some, I can fix shit that's broken in my garage. I can relax. I can listen to music. Somebody got a problem, bring your shit to my garage. We'll figure it out. Corporate America was way too fucked up for me. So I didn't see my lens of life walking down a corporate path for the rest of my life. What I do with ride share gives me the freedom to go out or not. The freedom to hang out and chat with y'all. The freedom to make a fucking podcast. It gives me... You can't do this with a W-2. With a W-2, you're at work from 8 o'clock in the morning until they let your ass leave in corporate America. Could be 10 p.m. Could be 11 p.m. Could be 8 p.m. Could be 5 p.m. If it's not... The, most time, you ain't leaving until after everybody else leaves. Once everybody's leaving at 4, 35 o'clock, oh, y'all just getting started in corporate America because the office is clear now. Now that the office is clear... Y'all really going to start doing all the way. You can download everything, get your projections, get your shit ready for the next day. Your salary. This shit don't count. I didn't see my life like that. So I choose to spend it with good people with good energy. People who see life as, as a progression into something that they like set plans for every day. Not a statement of, of being on a plantation and people telling you how you what you're worth and how you're going to do it. You do every day how you deem every day. If you want today to be lucrative, you go out and you make it lucrative. If you want today to be a chill day, you make it a chill day. If you don't want to do shit at all today, you can do that. That's contract work. You could do that. But yet, we got all these haters, like I said. I think my YouTube channel done, done got to the point where now we're getting Facebook and Reddit motherfuckers over here thinking that shit's going to change. It's not. Trust me, it's not. I'm who I am, been who I am for the longest time. You can come along and say, hey, good job, man. Or you can say, this dude ain't doing too well. And bounce the fuck out and let me keep not doing well. But it ain't shit you saying going to change how I do things over here. It's really not. Because I haven't seen how you do shit. I've never seen your bank account. I've never seen where you live. You see my bank account. You see my house. You see all my cars out front. You see my dogs. You see my, my equipment. If you're in a membership group, you see how I do shit with equipment. You know more about me than I know about you. But yet you want me to take advice from you and I don't know shit about you. I don't know you like that. Maybe you know yourself so well, you know, I can't show people who I really am. These motherfuckers are lapping me up. I'm just running my mouth. These motherfuckers got, got what I'm trying to get. But here I am trying to get these motherfuckers advice and they got what I'm trying to get. Like I said, watch who you listen to. I've always said that in many of my videos. Watch who you listen to because you might end up in the same boat that they're in and you may not want to be in that boat. They don't even want to be in that fucking boat. They trying to get out of that boat. But yet they trying to advise you on the boat you in. And they don't even like the fucking boat they in. Why don't you work on your own fucking boat first? Haters going to always come around on that shit. Always. Know how we do this. We the 300. We slowly building. We're not completely built yet. We got a long way to go. We got businesses to create over here. We're all entrepreneurs. We're independent contractors using ride share money to invest in other shit. Whether it be invest in a house, like I invest my money into this house. My ride share money pays for this fucking house. My house has a lot of equity in it. I can cash out equity if need be. If I got deactivated from both apps, all I gotta do is go talk to my fucking realtor or my loan processing place and say, hey, listen, I need to cash out some of this equity, dude. 50 grand, how, how much is it going to cost me to cash out 50 G's? And live off that, paying the mortgage back. It'll be a stupid move, but it'll be a desperate move. I don't have to cash out my equity. I just keep driving. I keep busting my ass on these podcasts. I keep encouraging people to better their lives with every step they take forward. Knowing it's, gone, it's a motherfucker right behind you pulling your coattails, trying to hold you back from getting to where you know you deserve to be. This is all about fucking psychological shit over here. Because the world is about mentality. You can be physical, but like I tell motherfuckers, sports is 10% physical, 90% mental. Because if, it's, if you can't believe you can't do it, you're not going to do it. If you sit in the starting blocks thinking you're going to lose, you're going to lose. But if you say, dude, I have a 3% chance of fucking winning. 
Don't look at the 97% chance of you losing. I got a 3% fucking chance of winning. Do you know how many records I set with that mentality? How many races and championships I've won with that type of mentality? Beating motherfuckers who everybody else said, he's got a 60% chance of winning. And I said, well, that means I have a 40% chance of winning. I don't look at the 60% chance of losing. Nothing in this world is 100%. And I make shorts saying that shit. I make comments saying that shit. I make videos saying that shit. Nothing in this world is 100%. I always say that to people. Because my whole life has been working in sports books. Casinos full of risk. Odds. That's my whole life has been based on odds. Ain't nothing 100%. So when I say that shit to somebody in the comments or I make a whole, oh yeah, well it's not gonna work because every driver, every driver, nothing's 100%. I had to make a short to get into people's fucking head to let them know we don't need 100% participation in shit we ever do because we've never had 100% participation in shit we've ever done. And shit has still been done. But I bring shit down to ground level for those type of people and I'll let them know, listen, you ain't gotta think 100%, you don't. What you need to do is think, what is the percent that I can get this done? 15%? Let's push. Let's push. There is a chance. Let's push. We've got a chance. But if you're thinking about the 85% chance of you not being able to do it, don't even start it. Because you're already thinking you're a loser already. And a loser thinks in losing ways. A winner will think, there's a hole. I see a light at the end of that fucking tunnel. We can make it to that light down there. Motherfucker said 10%. It's a light at the end of that tunnel. Might not take us a week, might take us two, but it's the light at the end of that tunnel. That's how winners think. Losers are gonna always look at the, the fact of you may fail. Oh, you might wreck your car. Motherfucker, you might die in your sleep. That don't stop you from going to sleep, does it? You know how many people have died in they fucking sleep? But you, every night you go into bed, you go to fucking bed every night. I don't, hey man, don't fall asleep. Motherfuckers be dying in their sleep. There's a percent of anything happening, but there's also a percent that shit ain't going to happen at all. And that's the percent I look at every fucking day I walk out of this house.